Hi, everyone. It was great to spend some time with you the other day during our virtual session. I want to give you a recap of some of the key points. So ready? Let's go. First thing we talked about was the concept of making the shift where you've been doing one thing for a while, you're good at it, and then suddenly you got to change the way you're doing business or have a new program. And it can be frustrating because you really like the old way you did business. I understand this challenge. We faced it a lot when I worked in TV news where you'd be doing one story, there'd be breaking news, you have to drop that first story. It can be very frustrating. What I believe is very important is to let go in those moments of that past thing you were doing. Yes, it may have been perfect, you may have enjoyed it, but under the current circumstances, looking back isn't gonna help you. You need to have your focus on the present and really make sure you're performing at a high level, not saying, oh, woulda, coulda, shoulda, not good. Focus on the present. Also, during the shift, communication is very important. You wanna make sure you are communicating clearly to the members of your team, that they understand why a change is being made what they need to do and why their support is extremely important. And of course, you wanna make sure you're communicating changes to members and guests so they have anticipation of what they'll experience. If they're not sure what's happening, that can lead to problems because people like to know, they like that sense of comfort. We also talked about the idea of strengthening your availability on the job. I have studied top performers and I found that a lot of them at a certain point, they're all talented, they're all good. What separates the really good ones, though, is that they do these little things, little adjustments that allow them to perform at a higher level on a more consistent basis. The good news is a lot of these changes we can make ourselves. Some examples of them, making sure your health can support you when you are having to deal with a busy season on the job or a busy time, getting enough sleep so that you're able to perform well at a high level. You're not waking up at your job, you know, two hours into your day, you're there, you're able to perform at a high level right away. And another thing that I think can work really well for people is just taking some little breaks here and there. Maybe it's creating a boundary where you can close the door or not check email or your phone for a few minutes. Maybe it's even just 10, 15 minutes. Maybe if you're dealing uh, during a stressful day, it's just allowing yourself a breath, <sighs> something that allows you to mentally reset, focus, and let go of some of those distractions that may be a little annoying. What I found is when you start to accumulate a lot of that tension, those distractions are adding up, you're becoming irritable, we stop listening and we tend to make mistakes or there are misunderstandings, or maybe we speak out and we're not as kind as we should be in the moment. So. Try to do those things that make you perform at a high level. Try to figure out what those are and see if you can do more of them. We talked about collaboration in the example I gave about fake snow where a professional ballet company needed to buy some fake snow because real snow is slippery and wet, things that don't go with dance. So in the fake snow example, everyone from the ballet company, from dancers to administration to the artistic people, everyone had to get together to figure out what each view was. So all voices were heard. Well, we like this reason. We like this reason. From those, the group could then agree on a main focus, a main principle, which for us was safety. So that way we had to buy fake snow. The first thing we were thinking about was what is something that will be safe for the dancers? Those other issues were important, but in terms of a collaboration, we had to agree on what was the main focus. So when big decisions need to be made, Keep that in mind, that you're getting all opinions, all voices, and then people agree on the main focus, and then you're able to take action. It is really important for employees to remember you're being watched. Our actions when we are out in the public, when you're interacting with members and guests, people are watching you, even if you don't think they are. This becomes really important, especially during the coronavirus, where there may be new rules and regulations that need to be followed. It can be tempting at times to think, I'll just take a shortcut. Nobody's going to notice. Uh, don't be so sure of that. And sometimes with shortcuts, well, I'm sure in your world, sometimes maybe you have planted some grass. It's growing really well. You put a little barrier around it, sign that says stay off the grass. But someone, they're in a hurry. It's a shortcut. I'll just cut through that new grass real fast. No one will notice. Now, maybe you get away with it once. But if the person does it more and more over time, they're going to start to leave a path in that grass and that will be visible to all. So just keep in mind, you're being watched at all times by people. 
they will notice things. So if you're doing things that they shouldn't see or Nick taking a shortcut, really be careful. Finally, I, I talked a little bit about when we're dealing with those tough days, when nothing is going right or just people are just feeling frustrated about some of the limitations that their business may be under, a phrase that has helped me a lot, three words, get to tomorrow. Because sometimes you're going to be in a tough situation where success is simply defined by making it through the day. That day may have been really challenging. And you may be like, man, did I even make any progress towards my goals? Hard to measure, but stick with it. Sometimes success is just a few days away, but you got to stick with what you're doing in order to be successful. You got to get to tomorrow. And then when something good happens, even if it's small, celebrate that moment. Because the bad news, it always runs right up to you and says, hey, I'm here. The good stuff, spend a moment or two. Take pride knowing that you did something well, or perhaps you got through a really frustrating situation and you excelled. So those are a few of the key points that I want to recap from the session. Thank you again for doing the work that you do. In my part of South Florida, we've been hit hard by the coronavirus for a while. A lot of things were locked down. And I have to tell you, when there were some openings, regulations were lessened a little bit. Having the opportunity to do something that you enjoy and haven't been able to do for a long time, it's really priceless. It's like putting on that piece of clothing or those shoes that fit perfectly that you haven't worn for a while. In a way, you are delivering that very important experience, an important part of life to your members and guests. So I thank you so much for doing that. Have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. KenOakle.com is probably the best place to start. Thank you so much. Take care.